Welcome to the channel, bringing a real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. I'm Josh. And I'm Erin. And we are back with another Topical Tuesday video where we like to start conversations with you guys down in the comments below. We've got four bottles that we finished recently, mm -hmm. and we're going to let you know if we would buy them again or not. This is inspired by Car and Driver's Long Term Road Test. I used to read that a ton when I was a kid, and I always thought it was very telling when someone had spent a whole year or two with a car mm. and told you whether they would like it, whether they would buy it or not. Yeah. It can oftentimes be more telling than a lot of the reviews you see us or other channels here do, or it's just a different take, I should say. Well, it's a different take because when you first get something, you're excited about it. Once you've had it and finished it, you have to either put your money where your mouth is buy it again. or crap or get off the pot. Right. Kind Which of is deal. why we call it buy, buy or rebuy. <laughs> yeah. Are we saying bye bye to these products or will we actually rebuy them? Do we yeah. like them that much? So let's go ahead and get into this list. We've got four to talk about today. We hope this is helpful for you. We would love to hear your thoughts on these bottles below and let us know what you think. Yeah. So the first one up is going to be Larceny. And this is not the barrel proof. This is just the regular old 92 proof. I always forget 92 proof Larceny. This was a store pick, but we're gonna talk about store picks and regular Larceny together. Okay, let's do it. This store pick was better for sure than the regular Larceny. Yes. However, will we continue to buy regular Larceny or the store picks? I would say no. I would agree. <laughs> it's weeded bourbon, so we already know you're not a big fan of it. Mm -hmm. And for me, 92 proof, I mean, it is a good value. It's, you know, 30-ish bucks or so. If you like weeded bourbon, it's a good value buy. Yeah, it's worth, yeah. it's maybe worth trying if you've never tried it before. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know that I would ever buy another bottle again at this point, tending to like higher proof, more concentrated flavors, tending to like something that's not quite as just peanutty and kind of harsh as this. Now this pick had a lot less of that and it had a lot more sweetness in it. So this was actually a really good pick. But even with that said, unless I know the person picking it, I'm probably not going to be buying another Larceny. But what I would buy again, oh, and I'm sure it? you would too, is a Blue Note Juke Joint Uncut. Yep. Now, this takes what the Larceny wishes it were to Ooh. us, at least. Ooh, these are fighting it. words. This isn't weeded bourbon. This is a regular rye-based bourbon. Yeah. But it has this chocolate bar profile. This one is our pick. This is the one we did with Jason and Scott over at Mash and Journey. Our first barrel pick ever. Yep. We recently finished this bottle. Had to put it in here. This one particularly, we called it Blue Note Bar because it was very candy barish chocolate and peanut butter in profile yeah but a lot of the picks can go really fruity some people not us but some people have said they are a good cheap findable replacement for something like stag or stag jr oh because really? they because they bring proof and fruit and brown sugar okay and things like that these are fairly young but the price is good these are were 45 dollars mm -hmm. when we got this one. Mm -hmm. They've now gone up to like 50 bucks in our market. Okay. That's but not bad. It's not bad. That's not bad. I can't. I can see that. I can do that. I honestly can't think of another like 120 something proof, barrel proof Kentucky bourbon that you can buy for $50. It's a fair point. Other than maybe like Knob Creek nine year single barrels, which those are great and we would buy those as well but these barrel picks can be a lot of fun. You get a lot of variety. If you trust the palate of the person picking it, you really can't go wrong. But honestly, at 50 bucks, it's a hard, it's hard to miss anyways with these. We're big fans. Speaking of being big fans, got to bring in some Nashville Barrel Company here. Yeah. This is their Nash Tucky line, which with this gray label indicates that it is Kentucky source bourbon that they have brought here to Nashville, Tennessee and aged part of the time here. A lot of these are aged in Kelvin barrels, which we really like. Yep. This particular one was also a barrel pick that we did. Mm -hmm. This one in conjunction with Mommy Valley Whiskey Society. Uh, this was part of the 1500 series of five-year Kentucky bourbons that they brought in. They had about 30-ish barrels. Mm -hmm. These were a legendary run locally. Yes. But the thing is, is you can go on their website and you can look. And if it has this gray label and it's like a five or six year, I'm pretty much a buy. If it has an eight year label on it, those are Jim Beam sourced. And if you like things like Knob Creek and Booker's and things like that, and you want to try like an eight or nine year single barrel Booker's expression, essentially, mm. then look for these on their website. So the five years, we don't know where they're sourced from, but the eight years we do. Right. Okay. They are going to have more of these in their lineup. They have a six year. That's a purple label that 
Ooh, I love purple. Well, for whatever reason, they're put under the Nash Tucky name uh -huh. of products, but the purple label six years they currently have are sourced from Indiana, which is very confusing. <laughs> the thing is, is Nashville Barrel Company is like four miles from our door. Yeah. It's, they're right down the road. They're basically our neighbors in our backyard. And so we might be a little bit more privy to some of the stuff that going on there than you might be if you're in another part of the States. Yeah. You but know, they do have a website that if you can get whiskey shipped to your state, they can ship to you. Right. And they ship to almost every state. Yeah. Look for these gray label five year Kentucky bourbon sourced eight years if you want that Jim Beam Booker's type okay. of profile. And then there are other stuff that are that's under the Nashville Barrel Company label, mm -hmm. like what you're more used to seeing if you know their products in your market. Those are very good as mm -hmm. well. That's MGP source stuff that they age in part here. They're doing really good stuff with all that. Yep. I think that the, the point I want to make about this, we are a rebuy on this for sure. We'll yes. continue to buy Nashville Barrel Company products yep, for sure. as long as we can get our hands on them. Um, but the point I want to make is a lot of times in a lot of markets out there, I know this to be a fact, they have their regular like cast drink small batches mm -hmm. and they're, whether it be the bourbon or the rye, and those are good products, but the single barrels are where the real magic happens when it comes to Nashville Barrel Company. Yes. So if you've had the regular small batch products, don't judge the whole company based on that. You really need to try some of their barrel picks and you can get them on their website. So check it out. We'll put a video link or we'll put a link in the video description there you below. Go. That's what I meant <laughs> to say. And the last one up for today is none other than us finishing off a bottle of Koi Hill. What? We didn't have many of these. I don't remember finishing this. I feel like you finished this without me. Um, oh, no comment. <laughs> you got caught. We have another one. We're all good. Okay. But yes, I did finish this one without you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, I actually sampled out a lot of this okay, one. Okay, fair. We have another one, but I did sample out a lot of this one because when we get good whiskey here, we want to share it. Yeah, we do. It's just what we do. So this one right here, we finished it off. Koi Hill is an interesting uh, bourbon. Yeah. Whiskey, Tennessee whiskey, whatever. Um, it's like riding a really old wooden roller coaster that goes really fast and it's going to jar you around a little bit. And it might scare you a little bit. I don't like those. They hurt my neck. But sometimes they're fun. And that's what Koi Hill is. Sometimes it's yeah. fun. Yeah. Okay. I, I can get on board with that analogy. This exact bottle, there have been nights where I sat down and had a pour out of it and thought it was just the most dense, rich, amazing thing ever. Yeah. And there's other nights where I've sat down with a pour of this and thought I was drinking a cup full of lava. <laughs> It was so hot. Yeah. So, and this was 140.7 proof. Okay. They're very good products. You can't buy Koi Hill anymore. It was a one-time release. Aww. And then they had the small batch Wah -wah. instead of the single barrels. So are we a buy on this again? Are we saying bye-bye? I guess technically we have to say bye-bye. Technically we have to say bye-bye, but if it were to come out again, we would be a buy. We would try to rebuy it re for it. sure. I did want to put this in here because really, truthfully speaking, anything Jack Daniels releases in this shape of bottle, we're a buy on. Oh, is that, is that, is yeah. that true? Okay. Yeah. We don't tend to like old number seven, Yeah. the bonded and the triple mash or whatever. Yeah. Triple mash. They're, they're fine. They're good. Not something we're necessarily going to rebuy again. We've tried both of them, mm -hmm. own bottles of both of them. They're fine. But if it comes in this bottle shape and it's barrel proof, we're going to buy it. We're going to we buy it at least to it. try it. Yes. And then if we like it, we'll probably buy another. Yeah. So whether it's special release, whether it's the standard gold label Tennessee whiskey, whether it's the new gold label with the green tag down here, barrel proof rye, mm. buy, buy, buy. <laughs> not, <laughs> bye, bye, not like, bye, the, not, bye, bye. <laughs> not like that song. You. Just another play you in your game for two. I'm just going to wait this out. We he done? You may hate me, but it ain't no lie, baby. Bye, bye, bye. bye, bye. bye okay. Bye. No, okay, we're back. Buy them, buy them, buy them. Buy three of them if you can get them. If you like this video, like the video. If you agree with us, let us know. And if you disagree, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe if I didn't say that already. And hit the bell down there if you want to join us for a pour on one of our live streams. We'd love to have you. We would. That's it for today. Be good to each other. And until next time. Cheers. cheers.